everyone welcome to my virtual class i am mom j and i'm your teacher for today happy learning ang lesson natin sa araw na ito ay converse inverse and contrapositive statement. So, si conditional statement, pwede na rin natin i-rewrite as converse, inverse, and contrapositive statement. So, paano kaya yan ginagawa? So, umpisa na natin. So, to form the converse of the conditional statement, interchange the hypothesis and the conclusion. So, if Q, then P. So, sa kapag converse, ang pinag-uusapan, mas nauna po si conclusion kesa kay hypothesis. So, yung ating conditional statement or yung ating if-then statement, pagpapalitin lang po natin doon si hypothesis at si conclusion. Yun na po yung converse statement. So, examples. So, number one, equilateral triangles are equiangular. So, ang if-then form niya ay... If a triangle is equilateral, then it is equiangular. Di ba ang ating hypothesis sa statement na to ay a triangle is equilateral. At ang ating conclusion ay it is equiangular. So, pagpapalitin lang natin yung ating statement. So, dapat mauna si conclusion and then sunod si hypothesis. Yun po yung kanyang converse form. So, translate natin. So, rewrite natin as converse form. So, if a triangle is equiangular, then it is equilateral. So, kung napapansin nyo, ang ating conclusion ay nauna. And then, followed by our hypothesis. Ayan. So, pinagpalit lang po yung pwesto ng ating dalawang statement. Ayan. Another one. Today is Friday and tomorrow is Saturday. So, ang if then form niya, if today is Friday, then tomorrow is Saturday. So, ito yung ating hypothesis. Today is Friday. At ang ating conclusion ay tomorrow is Saturday. So, interchange natin yung dalawang statement. So, ang kanyang converse ay magiging if tomorrow is Saturday, then today is Friday. So, mauna si conclusion, then si hypothesis. So, yun po yung converse statement. So, if Q, then P. So, paano naman kung inverse? So, to form the inverse of the conditional statement, take the negation of both the hypothesis and the conclusion. So, ibig sabihin ng word na negation is to contradict. Iko-contradict lang po natin yung ating conditional statement. So, both the hypothesis and the conclusion. So, ito magiging kanyang uh, statement. If not P, then not Q. So, maglalagay lang po tayo ng word na not sa ating hypothesis at conclusion. Or kaya, no. Depende po sa ating statement. So, try natin. Sa so, examples, so, equilateral triangles are equiangular. So, ang kanyang if-then form, if a triangle is equilateral, then it is equiangular. So, ito po yung ating hypothesis. If a, a triangle is equilateral, ang ating conclusion ay it is equiangular. So, dahil inverse form na ating pinag-uusapan, Iko-contradict lang natin yung ating if-then form, yung ating hypothesis at conclusion. So, maglalagay lang po tayo na word na not. So, ito na siya. So, if a triangle is not equilateral, then it is not equiangular. So, ito yung ating hypothesis, so not P, and ito naman yung ating uh, conclusion, so not Q. Ayan. Another one. So, today is Friday and tomorrow is Saturday. So, ang kanyang if-then form, if today is Friday, then tomorrow is Saturday. So, ito yung kanyang hypothesis. So, today is Friday. At ang kanyang conclusion ay tomorrow is Saturday. So, dahil inverse form ang ating pinag-uusapan, i-contradict lang natin yung if-then form statement. So, maglalagay lang po tayo ng word na not sa ating hypothesis at not sa ating conclusion. So, magiging if today is not Friday, then tomorrow is not Saturday. So, ito po yung not P and then not Q. So, if not P, then not Q. So, ayan po. So, paano naman kung contrapositive? So, to form the contrapositive of the conditional statement, interchange the hypothesis and the conclusion of the inverse statement. Ayan. So, pagbabalik ta rin lang natin yung 
uh, inverse statement natin. So, mauna si conclusion and then followed by hypothesis. So, magiging ganito. If not Q, then not P. Ayan. So, kung meron ka ng inverse, di ba kanina meron na tayong inverse, pagbabalik ta rin lang natin si hypothesis at si conclusion. So, try natin. Examples. So, equilateral triangles are equiangular. So, ang kanyang if-then form ay, if a triangle is equilateral, then it is equiangular. So, ito yung ating hypothesis at ito yung ating conclusion. So, gagawin natin siyang if inverse. Di ba pag inverse, lalagyan natin ang word na not. Both the hypothesis and the conclusion. So, i-contradict natin siya. So, ang magiging inverse form niya ay, if a triangle is not equilateral, then it is not equiangular. So, ito yung not P, not Q. Ngayon, dahil contrapositive ang ating pinag-uusapan, pagbabalik ta rin lang natin itong dalawang statement natin. So, magiging, if a triangle is not equiangular, then it is not equilateral. So, nagkabaliktad lang itong dalawa. So, ito yung ating not Q, and ito naman yung ating not B. So, ayan po yung contrapositive. Ah, magpapalit lang po yung ating inverse. So, another one. So, today is Friday and tomorrow is Saturday. So, kanyang if-then form. If today is Friday, then tomorrow is Saturday. So, ito yung kanyang hypothesis at ito yung kanyang conclusion. So, pag kinonvert natin siya as inverse form, magiging if today is not Friday, then tomorrow is not Saturday. So, not P, not Q. And then, we're talking about for uh, for the contrapositives. So, pagbabalik ta rin lang natin tong statement na to. Ito. So, magiging... If tomorrow is not Saturday, then today is not Friday. So, not Q, not B. So, ganun lang po kadali yung pag-rewrite ng uh, contrapositive form. So, subukan natin yung apat. So, rewrite each if-then statement to converse, inverse, and contrapositive statement. So, ang given na natin ay naka-if-then na. So, ita-translate na lang na, ay, i rewrite na lang natin siya as converse, inverse, tsaka contrapositive statement. So, number one. If the angle is acute, then its measure is between 0 and 90. So, sa statement na to, ito yung ating hypothesis at ito yung ating conclusion. So, unahin natin yung converse. So, pag sinabing converse form, interchange lang natin si hypothesis tsaka si conclusion. So, mauna to. And then, ito sunod. So, magiging if the angle measure is between 0 to 90, then it is an acute angle. Ayan. So, nauna si conclusion kay hypothesis. And then, kapag inverse form, inenegate lang natin or i-contradict lang natin si if then. So, maglalagay lang tayo ng word na not dito at saka dito. So, pwede rin kayong gumamit ng no. So, depende sa ating statement, ha? So, try. I-inverse form na natin siya. So, if the angle is not acute, then its measure is not between 0 and 90. Ayan. So, may word na tayo ng not. So, not P, not Q. And then, kapag contrapositive form, itong inverse, pagbabalik ta rin lang natin si P tsaka si Q. Ayan. So, magiging... If the angle measure is not between 0 to 90, then it is not an acute angle. So, not Q, not P. So, kailangan yung statement nyo ay nandun pa rin yung tot. So, yung not na word, kailangan ilagay nyo siya sa, sa ating sentence, sa tama, sa tamang posisyon. Okay, pakinggan nyo ng mabuti yung inyong statement, kung maganda ba pakinggan. So, pag maganda siyang pakinggan, okay yung inyong... Uh, statement or yung yung sentence pero pagka hindi, mayroong problema. So, double check nyo yung, yung grammar. Let's have number 2. If a figure is a square, then it is a rectangle. So, ito yung ating hypothesis at ito yung ating conclusion. So, gagawin natin siya converse. So, pagbalik tarin natin to tsaka ito. So, magiging if a figure is a rectangle, then it is a square. Ayan. So, Q na to. So, nauna si Q, bago si P. Ayan. 
And then, kapag ka-inverse, maglalagay lang tayo ng word na not dito sa ating if then form. So, if a figure is not a square, then it is not a rectangle. So, not P, not Q. And then, kapag contrapositive, so, itong ating inverse, pagbalik ta rin lang natin si P tsaka si Q. So, if a figure is not a rectangle, then it is not a square. So, not Q, not P. Yan. Number three. So, if a polygon is equilateral, then it is regular. Yan. So, ito yung ating P. Ito yung ating Q. So, converse. Pagbalik na rin natin silang dalawa. So, if a polygon is regular, then it is equilateral. Yan. Una si Q. Then si P. Pag inverse naman, lagyan lang natin ng word na not. Yung ating if then. So, magiging if a polygon is not equilateral, then it is not regular. So, not P, not Q. And then, kapag contrapositive, pagbalik na rin lang natin itong dalawa. So, if a polygon is not regular, then it is not equilateral. Ayan. Number 4. If n equals 9, then n squared equals 81. So, ito yung ating P at ang ating Q. So, sa converse, pagbalik na rin natin yung ating P tsaka Q. So, if n squared is equal to 81, then n equals 9. Ayan. Pag inverse naman, i-contradict ko natin yung statement. Maglalagay lang tayo ng word na not. So, dahil lang ating given ay equation, instead of using equal sign, magiging not equal na siya. So, if n is not equal to 9, then n squared is not equal to 81. Yan. And then, pag contrapacity, pagbalik tarin lang natin silang dalawa. So, magiging, if n squared is not equal to 81, then, S, then n is not equal to 9. Yan. And last number, we have, if tourists are at the Colosseum, then they are in Rome. So, ito yung ating hypothesis at ito yung ating conclusion. So, pagbalik tarin natin dahil converse na tayo. So, if tourists are in Rome, then they are at the Colosseum. And then, inverse, maglagay lang tayo ng word na not, both the hypothesis and the conclusion. So, if tourists are not at the Colosseum, then they are not in Rome. And ang contrapositive form naman niya, ay pagbabalik tanin lang natin yung statement sa ating inverse. So, magiging, if tourists are not in Rome, then they are not at the Colosseum. Ayan. So, ganun lang po kadali ang pagsusulat or pagre-write ng uh, if-then form sa, convert, pag, sa pagsulat ng converse, inverse, saka contrapacity. So, tatandaan, sa if-then form, nauna si hypothesis bago si conclusion. So, pag converse, nauna na ngayon si conclusion, then si hypothesis. Pag inverse naman, i-contradict natin yung if-then form. So, magiging not P, not Q. And then, contrapositive, not Q, not P. So, dito sa if then, if P, then Q. So, converse, if Q, then P. Sa so, inverse, if not P, then not Q. At pag contrapositive, if not Q, then not P. Okay? So, kayo naman, subukan nyo to. So, try it now. So, write each statement to if then, converse, inverse, and contrapositive form. So, apat po ang inyong gagawin. So, dahil ang ating statement ay hindi naka-if-then form. So, kailangan nyo muna siyang i-write as if-then. And then, gawin nyo na siyang converse, inverse, and contrapositive. So, sana may natutunan kayo sa araw na ito. Salamat po! Thank you for watching! Don't forget to like, share, comment! And subscribe to my channel. Until next time!